video is about my first Pokemon VGC regional that I've ever gone to in my life. The story of how I did, how I went, and what I learned from it. Let's go. What's up, Crocs and Platinum Wars Poke fans? And I'll just hold some on this video. I am here, like I said in the intro, to talk about my first Pokemon VGC regional that I've ever gone to in my life. And I gotta say, it was quite an exciting, but very anxious inducing uh, event that I went to. Um, and it was technically considered a regional here in Puerto Rico. To give you some backstory about this, okay, I'm brand new to VGC. This is my second tournament ever in VGC, right? I made a previous video, you can you know, click in the the eye icon, I don't remember which side it is, to, to look at my first VGC experience, um, if you are you know inclined to. Um, but to give you guys a little bit of a history of how I found out about this tournament, um, how I built my team, showing it off screen right now. Yes, I know, I, I'm gonna get to it, okay, I'm gonna talk to you guys about <laughs> this team in a bit, okay, give me a second. Um, but the whole, but basically the way it all happened is that after I went to my first tournament, um, and I got second place, spoilers for, if you, just, you know, you came back from the other video, um, it's not really a spoiler, but if you didn't watch it, well, now you know I got second place, um, at that smaller event. Um, I basically tried to involve myself a little bit more into the VGC ethos and stuff like that. Um, the only thing is that as soon as the first tournament that I went to, ended um we basically like only like two or three weeks later um we went into the brand new rule set which is regulation g um which is the restricted format which <laughs> listen for somebody who's just starting vdc and and like get, went to one tournament with one rule set and all of a sudden there's a completely new one that i have to like completely learn everything from scratch is not easy okay <laughs> because my mindset is i just spent like like months trying to learn this this current rule set from before and now I have to completely learn a completely new one even though I just got somewhat of a hang of the old one <laughs> so it was kind of rough on top of the fact that I didn't really find because I was searching okay um after I, I finished that first one I, you know I did some searching around and looking for stuff I wasn't really finding much um and I didn't really find out about this tournament until like two weeks prior to it which meant that I had no idea if I was going to even have a tournament which means I wasn't really like doing too much um because I was like just like watching the scenes, you know, and, and, and watching some of the bots of people playing and stuff like that. So I was trying to educate myself, so I never really thought of a team of my own. So to explain a little bit of my team, <laughs> um, as you can see, I have a Lugia, um, I have Registeel, and you know, Gothitelle, uh, Screamtail, Tinglu, and him on top. Now, I was watching through a lot of the coverage and a lot of people talking about it, that Calarch Shadow was like the, the threat to beat in the scene, right? And so I was like, oh shit, okay, so I need something for that. So that's why you see Tinglu and Terra Dark, him on top on my team, okay? that, <laughs> And the only reason why I have Tinglu is because I already, you know, you catch it in the story, so I already had it, right? I'm not, I wasn't trying to like reinvent the wheel here, okay? Lugia's on here because it's my favorite Pokemon and my wife convinced me to like, hey, it's your favorite Pokemon, you might as well like build a team with it. And I did it and then Registeel, I already had it set up. I just needed to change a couple things. And I had the Gothitelle Tail and the Scream Tail from my, my Regulation F team. So I was like, you know what? I, I have five Mons already. So that's where I came up with him on top. So him on top, you know, has White Guard. It's a fake out, uh, intimidate, support, whatever the fuck. So I was like, I've been, I was just trying to come up with something that might help me in the long run, okay? I wasn't trying to, to, to do too much. I was trying to be able to play safe, okay? And my Lugia, as you saw, was Terra Ground because right before this tournament happened, <laughs> Maridon <laughs> happens to win a regional in the States. So I was like, fuck, now I gotta worry about this stupid thing, right? The only, the only, <laughs> the only problem with my team, and I, I kind of figured it was gonna happen um, before I even went to the tournament, okay? I have three Psychic types. So Calyrex Shadow is still gonna be a pain in my ass and it's not like I have the most support against it and then like I had tools for Maridon, Tropagos, um, and then you know Paris Trap for like Groudon and Kyogres and shit like that so and I wasn't even worried about Sation because Sation like the, the squad that I have basically deals with it 
without too much of a hindrance, right? So there's a lot of things <laughs> that I was perfectly prepared for, but the one thing, the one thing I knew for a fact was gonna be a pain in my ass, and it definitely screwed me over when I talk about the matches um, in the next section, is Karaidon fucks me up, okay? Any Karaidon team is gonna fuck me up. Any like strong ghost dark type Pokemon are gonna be a hassle because I have three, like I said, three psychic types that unless I Terra, they, you know, I get fucking screwed. And I also didn't have too much to prevent, like, s s sleep, okay? <laughs> so, I will talk about one of those <laughs> in a bit. Um, but essentially, I was just trying to... I went with a strategy I had just implemented in my first tournament. And I, I wasn't trying to deviate too much because I didn't have a lot of time. Like, I literally... The Lugia I have, I brought her up for my Alpha Sapphire game. And then the hit on top is one that I bred from one that I had in Sword and Shield. And then, like always, shout outs to my boy Choir Boy and my boy Zen, okay, for always being there. Like, Choir Boy really helped me, like, with the sets that I have, okay, he helped me out a lot. Uh, granted, the Screamtail basically is almost the same, identical to the one what is, except I would have Dazzle Gleam instead of Player Up. And honestly, I regret having Encore disabled this time around. I think I would have just been fine with Disable and then, like, some other fucking move. But, like, probably protect, you know? So, there's just, it's just a lot of things, right, that, that are a pain in the ass for me, personally speaking, that I kind of fucked up. And on top of that, because now this is, like, a stronger, faster metagame, I, I probably should have gone with, like, a fast Screamtail instead of, like, the defensive one, because honestly, it didn't help me for shit. Karadon still fucks me over <laughs> with one hit in the sun. Um, whereas if it was in the speed and I had protect, I could disable one of his moves or something. So, I, that's the point. Like, I, I really wasn't in the best state of mind going to this tournament. I, I literally just went there to, to first of all, it was way bigger than the first tournament I went to, okay? And it was like third. First of all, it was a huge venue. Well, relatively okay sized venue, okay? It was a little hot in there. There was like no AC, or if there was, you couldn't fucking feel it. <laughs> um, listen, uh, the event was okay. It was it was okay done. Like they, they also didn't have too much refreshments. Like there was like one lady that showed up to sell like hot dogs and hamburgers and like water and sodas like outside the venue um and that was like <laughs> that wasn't even provided by the by the event itself it was just some person that uh, was i think related to somebody who was participating or something like that they're just there it wasn't the greatest run event okay I, i've gone to smash tournament so i kind of know how an event is supposed to look so this is this was, for a regional i expected a little bit more that's all i'm gonna say um but it was like I think there was like 30 people in in the bracket somewhere along there um and even alberto lara which is like a top vgc player was there i kind of wish i would have been able to talk to the guy because he's smart right he's he's a, he's a top champion like he i'm pretty sure he's won a couple regionals and i think he also wants nationals ones don't quote me on that but he's he's a top player and i would have loved to pick at his brain but i wasn't able to because i didn't do too hot <laughs> This tournament, I, I'm gonna admit it. So, but overall, like I think the experience was good. Um, I did. I'm not gonna say I built a community because it's not like I haven't really like followed up on it. But I did have some people that were there that are like part of like this group that you know goes to events. Um, and apparently, there's one that does like a local that's like 30 minutes from where I live. So it's something that I have to just now like put my foot forward um, when I start feeling comfortable with with the whole team building aspect of stuff. Um, and just start integrating myself into the scene over here, which they're trying to like expand, right? So it's good for me in the long run, but for now, I'm still on like, I want to kind of do this with the people I already know, you know, with Carboy and Zen and stuff like that. And then hopefully when I start getting more comfortable and, and, feeling, and feeling more confident in myself, um, that I'll be able to, you know, move forward. Last thing I'll say before I talk about the matches, you had to win, I believe it was four matches to make it into the top cut. Maybe it was four or five. I'm pretty sure it was four to make it into the top cut and then from top cut and you go to top eight and then, you know, that's like the rest of the bracket. Um, there, <laughs> I want to say there was one time I was going to be on stream and my opponent didn't want to do it. And I was like, yes, come on, let's do it. Cause I, that, that's the good part about, you know, going to like a regional is that, Fuck, you can be in, on stream and then you can like watch the VODs, you know? But no, like the, the guy didn't want to do it. So I was like, fuck me, you know? Um, <laughs> that definitely would have helped me a lot because, you know, the fact that I can't really record my matches makes it a little bit more difficult for myself to like recap a lot of the stuff. Um, and it doesn't help me 
to practice because I can't see what I did and what my plays were, okay? But let me just state this right now before, like this is literally the last thing I'll say before we talk about matches. I have built a brand new team on Showdown. I've been testing it, okay? The next VGC video you're gonna see from me will be how I won a Showdown VGC tournament. Spoilers for that video, okay? So, I've, I've and, it, and it's not even the current team I'm using, okay? Now I've been evolving, I've been practicing, I've been you know, changing a lot of stuff, so you're definitely gonna see more VGC content for me in the future. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about my matches. So similar to the video I made a few months ago at this point, uh, I did have, I have my notebook with some notes of what happened in the event, right? I'm gonna go set by set, obviously. Uh, I do have footage of some of the battles that my wife was able to get, but they're like obviously from her phone a little bit away. So you're not gonna get like the full like view of everything that was going on. Um, and I don't have full replays and I don't have full um, actual like step by step what happened in the battle because I'm still not good at that in terms of this. So I'm gonna give you guys a brief description of what happened. I'm gonna show you guys my opponent's teams now. And then basically what happened what in each game, you know, stuff like that and we'll go from there. So my first opponent of the entire tournament uh, I'm gonna give you a, their tags in the actual tournament, okay? I'm not gonna do like names or stuff like that. But their tag was Eagle, right? And so fun fact about this person is that they apparently host a local not far from where I live. Um, I haven't been able to have the time to go to see how it is and, and you know, participate. Plus the fact that I'm still like trying to get teams ready, right? So, um, <clears throat> but they did invite me um, to something. So I'm hoping that in the future I'm able to go because it's like, like 25 30 minutes away from where I currently live so hopefully that could be a thing that, that I participate more in the future but as of now to give you some context before I start with the actual battles um, this person used a Coridon team now out of all the Pokemon uh, restrictions I, I expected going into this tournament Coridon was not one of them okay at all my my expectations for this tournament is I was gonna see a lot of Maridons a lot of Calyrex Shadows and maybe like Calyrex Ice to some extent, um, and some Kyogres, right? That's That was my I, my mentality of this entire tournament. That's what I expected to see. So, I didn't really plan for a Coridon matchup, and honestly, it was like one of my weakest matchups um, because of the way I structured my team, because like I showed you guys earlier in the video, I had a Parashrap team, who, which wasn't really meant to take the most amount of hits, Right? I, Screamtail, who was like defensive as hell, wasn't even handling any physical hit from Coridon, which is bad, okay? So, here's what happens uh, when you face a team who you know is a bad matchup for you, um, and, and how it goes from there. So, so game one, their team consisted of Lilligan, Torkoal, Coridon, and Walking Weight. Now, I don't have a problem dealing with Walking Weight, that's like the easiest one to handle, but the fucking... Lilligant had sleep powder and I didn't really plan too well for this. Okay. Um, honestly, I don't even think that The type of game plan that I had which is you know Paris trap really works in this context So I had scream tail team Lou in the front and Lou get Goss in the back now in concept This should be a little easy, you know, just go for the Paris song and go from there. However, okay I did not Terrestrialize my scream tail, which I probably should have. And honestly, if I made my scream tail like a fast scream tail, this matchup would have been a lot easier. Which is why I said like I made made her defensive or it because technically the card rocks don't have good genders. But I I I could have made scream tail faster, which would have helped me a lot. But I didn't, which then caused me to be slower than everything else. And because I didn't terra, I got put to sleep, which means I couldn't perish, which means I couldn't trap, which means I couldn't do anything. Right, which honestly is the reason why a lot of this shit went down. Like I, I tried to maneuver my way around the Coridon, but it just hit too hard, and I wasn't able to trap it properly. And the stupid Lilligant was like slept two of my mons. Like Lilligant had um, safety goggles, so realistically speaking, that could have been a good answer to it. But like I said, I didn't really plan this properly, and I didn't have a good chance. And like realistically speaking, I have a set of Lugia. And I set up Registeel, right, against a team that's meant to overwhelm you. Um, and I have no way of stopping 
or not a way to help myself set up besides fake out on Gotham Tail and like disable on Scream Tail. So it's not like the most convenient things here. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, so I lost this pretty handedly. Like I, 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 I literally was not able to to react. Like I, I don't remember which mod I took out. I'm pretty sure it was the Walking Weight. That's the only mod I can possibly remember taking out. Or maybe it was the little again. I don't recall. All I know is I only, you know, took out one of his mods and then like I just got destroyed. Um, and then the second game was was not any better. Okay, um, I did have Goth and Screamtail on the front and then hit him on top because I was trying to 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 do something here and I I think he used the same mods, right? Yeah, Lilligan, Torkoal. Walking Wake and cried on, and the thing is that he used it after you on Torkoal, which made it a little bit more difficult for me. Um, and I did tear up my Gotham Tail in this battle, which honestly this, this doesn't help me for shit. Um, honestly, like I just this matchup was was not gonna happen. Like I I knew I knew going in that Karadon was my weakest matchup because I didn't have anything to deal with it. Okay, like I have no way of removing the sun, which is the only reason why Karadon is as strong as it is. So. I could have played this better, I do admit, and thinking back on it, uh, this matchup in particular, the, the best thing I could have done, potentially, is get rid of the Lilligan as fast as possible, have Registeel in the back, or, or even in the front, something like that, but have Registeel in the front, and start setting up Registeel as much as possible, and trying to keep the Lilligan from doing anything, um, I think might have been my win con here, but again, I, 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 it was a bad matchup either way, okay? Karan just hits too hard if the sun is up. So, with no way of removing the sun, it, it just wasn't going to happen. Okay, so after that devastating loss, I'm like, okay, so I need to, like, lock in now. Because, since it's a regional, you have to play six rounds of Swiss. And I think you needed a record of four and two to make it into the top cut, which is what I was hoping for, right? And so, I was trying, like, okay, let, let me lock in. Hopefully, I get a better matchup. And so, I sit down for my next opponent. And it's another Karadon team. And I'm like, are you fucking serious? Like, are you... <laughs> you mean to tell me I plan for all these other matchups and you hit me with another my, of my, like, worst restricted uh, matchup. And so I was like, god damn it. So, <laughs> so I was a little salty about this. I'm going to show my opponent's team right here. And let me just say this matchup was horrendous, okay? And again, I honestly... I, I don't have a, a good answer to this type of, of team structure. So here's how the matchup went. The game, the game one was atrocious because I didn't even get to see their fourth mod. And honestly, it's because I made a mistake, um, a really huge mistake. He had Karadon, Ogre Pond, and Fur Giraffe as like the main core that he had going on. And let me just say, so this is a hyper offense team, obviously. And and my team of top Screamtail, uh, Registeel, and Lugia wasn't gonna cut it. Honestly, I didn't expect because of how bad it went before uh, with my other opponent. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do much. In here in terms of like getting the the trapping and the parish song going off so I just said okay let's just try the registeel setup stuff and honestly it didn't go well at all like he set up nasty plots on his fucking for giraffe and I think he got plus four which honestly is bad because I can't deal with it so I, I just, at a certain point, I just couldn't handle it. And that's the only thing, that's the thing that was doing the most damage. Like, not even the Karaidon, not even the fucking, the Ogre Pond. And like I said, I didn't even get to see their fourth mod because I just, I, I wasn't able to handle this properly. And, and it just wasn't, it wasn't it, okay? That's what I'm gonna say. So, this is the worst part. I don't even have any notes for my second game besides my two mods, the two of the mods I used. And... The only thing I might remember from this one is, because I remember correctly, this is the matchup that I'm thinking of, is that I tried setting up Registeel, okay? I get, so this is a team, by the way, we got Karadon, Walking Wake, for a Giraffe, and then Ogre Pond again. I did try to set up my Registeel, and the one thing that was upsetting for me personally, um, or that, that I realized, is that he had a bulky Karadon, because he should have died. To, I think I was at, at a certain point, I was at plus four um, defense on my Registeel. And I went for body press, and it didn't kill. And honestly, that was the reason why I think I lost, is because 
Now he has this strong ass mon, and I like I said, I don't even remember who the rest of my mons were, but if I had killed the Karite on there, I would have probably won at least this game. Okay, that's the, I'm trying to remember. I'm pretty sure this was the set that that happened, and I was upset about it. And I was very like demotivated a little bit because I'm like, I get two back to back matchups against my worst uh, restricted, and and I don't even like if it like the first guy I faced. If I had done this strategy, that Karadon would have died because his was a offensive like fast Karadon. This was a bulky. HP invested Karaidon without with with almost no attack investment. That's what they told me after the matchup. So I was like, "Fuck me, right?" So it was not. I, I, I gotta say, at this point, I'm not having a good day. Um, I'm not not feeling confident anymore because now at this point, I'm like, my chances of moving into the top cut have been slashed significantly. I'm a new player, right? And I'm confident. Don't get me wrong. I'm confident in my abilities, but. If I get another matchup like this, I'm fucking screwed. And on top of that, I'm in a brand new environment with people I don't know, right? With people that are in groups that know each other and practice all the time. And I'm just a newbie who had to scramble around for a team almost last minute. This was very demoralizing for me personally. Um, but it motivates me for the future, obviously. So I'm not going to like say, hey, this killed me. Because honestly, this made me more motivated at the end of the tournament. So, two losses down, I have four more games to play in Swiss, and I'm like, okay, I gotta just like, let's let's try, let's try here. Okay, now set three, I'm going against Faze Miguel, okay, here's his team on screen, and I'm like, yes, a matchup I was expecting, okay, Maridon, okay, that's one of the restrictions I was hoping for, okay, and I have a team that's designed to deal with, like I said, Maridon and Calyrex Shadow are like the, the two big contenders that I'm working with here, I'm like, these are the ones... I expect to face, and these are the ones I know are going to give me the most trouble, um, or are the, the top of the top. So I was expecting the, these types of teams, right? So I felt a little more confident here. Let me just say, I, I'm, I'm, I felt a little bad afterwards, but I was a little bit more confident in this matchup. So I was like, okay, finally, it's not a fucking Karidon. Um, it's a matchup that I was expecting to have in this tournament. It's the reason why I built the team the way I did at, you know, this last minute type of stuff, obviously. I didn't, like, fully invest in creating a brand new team to deal with this stuff. So, excuse me if... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> but listen, listen. Okay, I really tried here. This is a, the, the team matchup that I was expecting. So here's how it went for me. So my opponent led Serena and Tenor and then had Maridon and Iron Juggalus in the back. Okay, this is... I was like, okay... Instant Serena. So here's what I did. I led with Gothitelle and Lugia. And obviously, I'm going to protect because I don't want to deal with this fucking, like, fake-out bullshit. And then I had uh, Registeel and Tinglu in the back. So like I said, I am solid for this thing. I was able to set up not only my Registeel, but a little bit of my, my Lugia a little bit. Or actually, no. That's a lie. Because I think what happened was, is that after the double protect, um, I switched into Tinglu. Um, expecting the Maridon to come in, and I don't remember if I I'm trying like this. All I know is I won this match. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say I won this battle, but I do know that Rage still really helped me out a lot in the end game uh, because I was able to set up the the Iron Defense and I tear my Tinglu to handle not only the Incineroar but also the the Serena because the Serena I didn't really have anything to do against a Poison type Tinglu, so. That was interesting, and that was great, and I fucking loved it. So, like I said, now I get a confidence boost because I get my first victory, right? Now this fucking, like, 0-2 shit that I've been dealing with, I finally get a win under my belt. And I'm like, okay, now to, like, take this over. So then in game two, he brings in Incineroar, Rackman, and then Jugulus and, and Maridon in the back. Now, Jugulus, the problem with him is that this fucking Dragon Cheer uh, Jugulus shit, and because he's fast because of the electric terrain, this bitch is out here... <laughs> Using Dragon Shield to boost the electric, uh, to boost the crit rate of fucking Maridon. And then he even terrorizes his Maridon. But the thing is, I, like, set up my Lugia extremely well. Like, I had Screamtail, uh, Registeel, Tinglu again, and then Lugia. And I, I just steamrolled him at this point. Because Lugia was able to set up enough call mines, and I was able to stop the freaking, um, Maridon from doing much. He did get a crit on my Registeel, which was unfortunate, but he had plus two crit, so it kind of makes sense. Um... Because of the dragon cheer, obviously, um, and but I, I because of the combine on my Lugia, like he just did. I was able to take out the the, the Maridon, and at that point, nothing else can handle the, my Lugia set. Okay, that, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, 
at that point, everything else was being just defeated by Malugia setting up. And I was like, yes, I get a fucking win. <laughs> so I won my, my third set and I was very happy and excited. But at this point, my Switch was dying, okay? They didn't have anywhere to fucking plug in your shit. Like, I don't understand how a regional event with people coming in from around the world is out here without places to plug in your devices, okay? The local I went to back in February, right? They had tables set up, which each of them having their own, like, multi-plug things where you can plug in uh, multiple stuff. They had a bunch of them all over the room. Yet this event, which is like now like sponsored by the Pokemon company because it's a regional like based by the Play Pokemon team, doesn't have any of that. They have like one corner where there's like this one like pillar and they have like some plugs in there. And it wasn't until like the later, way later rounds that they finally started adding some things, but they were only like next to one table, right? One section. And then like, other rooms in the building, right? Where you, in between matches, you can go into one of those extra rooms and plug in your sub. But then again, there wasn't a lot of time between rounds, so it's not like you had enough time to really charge your shit. So, I don't know. I, that's like my biggest uh, nitpick with this whole event, personally speaking. Now, my set four match is, I will admit, um, I'm disappointed with myself with the way I handle it, personally speaking. Because... Right, this is this is one of the matchups I was very confident going into this tournament. The Shadow Calyrex matchup, right? So I'm gonna show my opponent's team right now. And like listen, so this is the type of game I should have, you know, done way better at than I did. And I'm very disappointed in myself because this was the one. This is the type of matchup I was expecting to go in and and I feel bad about the way it handled because I played this, I will admit, very, very bad. The the I mentioned this earlier in the in the beginning portion of the video if I remember correctly. Um, cause this, you can see this is like a different day. I regret having Encore disable on my screen tail in this particular tournament because it didn't really help me much. I think that if I just had disable, I would have been just fine. Like disable protect and shit like that. I think that would have been a lot better. And if I made my screen tail faster, obviously that would have been very beneficial. But I didn't do that. The first match of this round, I will admit, took the longest out of, out of all my matches in this entire tournament. Right? Because it got to the point where I was locking my opponent with Encore Disable, Encore Disable. But they were able to switch around because, you know, obviously I didn't have Gothel this matchup. So here's here's how the, 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 the players for this for this round, right? We have Urshifu, uh, Water, Rillaboom, Incineroar, and Calyrex Shadow. And then I brought him on top, Ting Lu, Screamtail, and Lugia. And I ended up terrorizing my Screamtail because, for those of you guys who don't know, my Screamtail is specifically designed to take on every Urshifu water in existence like that not a single Urshifu water will be able to take on my my screen tail that's the way i trained it the way i built it is to be able to counter any Urshifu but again right now the Urshifus aren't the biggest threats right the, the threats are the fucking restricted so that's why i feel really bad that i, I went this route for this particular tournament um that i didn't go for like a faster screen tail because that would have helped me out tremendously okay but here's the thing i played this terribly because i let my team will die before a calorie shadow was even on the fucking field which is bad because that's like one of my biggest counters to it. And then like I wasn't able to set up my, my Lugia. And then like I said, I was so stuck with the Encore Disable strats on my screen tail to the point where the match went so long that half the other players had already finished their sets. Okay? That's how long my match took. Okay? Most of the other people were in the game two or three already, right? And like I said, half the other players were done. So it was one of those things where I felt that I hinder myself by having this moveset, personally speaking. Um, and here's the thing, the, the one thing I don't, the, the, my biggest regret with this set in particular, right? Because it took so long, half the other players had already finished their sets, right? Um, one of the TOs came by our, 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 where we were at, right? And they were like, hey, so how's it going? I was like, we just finished game one. They're like, really? Well, the stream setup is open if you guys wanna go. And honestly, I really should have advocated more for it I understand the other guy. The other guy didn't want to do it. Okay, I really wanted to. For one, being on stream means you can charge your devices because, like, you're not using them, right? Because they have, you know, they have their own stream setups and stuff like that. So you don't have. You can just leave your shit charging, and it's not a big deal, right? Which is good because we don't have a lot of time to charge our devices. And then second, you're on stream, which means there's footage you can, you know, later watch and like analyze 
and help yourself improve. Because one of the things I mentioned, not only in this video, but also in the first video I made with my VGC stuff, is that the Switch games, none, no game has fucking replay functions anymore. Apparently, this has been a thing since Gen 7, right? And I didn't remember that, right? Because I didn't play Gen 7. So then I'm just sitting here with like, fuck, I don't have any way to like truly practice uh, efficiently because I don't have a way to see my matches after they happen, right? And I'm not good enough yet to jot down all my notes like a lot of these pro VGC players, right? So I'm not in that state yet as a competitor to be able to do that. So I thought this was gonna be very beneficial for the both of us. And he just he just said, he kept saying no. I'm like, Tio, I really, really would like to. Um, but obviously we didn't do it because the other person didn't wanna do it. Um, and I understand that's a, that might be a little like fucked up of me. Like, oh, dude, seriously, you, you, you're that self-centered that you would just force somebody to be on stream when they don't want to. No, but it, for me, for my journey, I need to be able to, to learn and understand what happened during the match, which I can't do because I have no way to see how I played a match unless it's on showdown. And that's, I think, the worst part about this is the fact that I need an external software tool to practice in order to like visualize everything I did. And, and learn from my mistakes because the main console game it doesn't does have the capability to do that and I, I think that's that's personally for me I think that's it's not good so I think I was a little deflated at this point right and like my mindset as soon as that whole exchange happened is like okay well I need to stop him from switching but then I don't even think I brought screen tilt maybe I did I don't recall um, because I miswrote stuff in here um, but I know this this matchup wasn't it wasn't it, um, and I felt very bad because I I know I played this horribly. I had a game plan and I didn't execute it because I'm just not I didn't have a lot of time to practice with this team, right? I had like a concept in my head of how it was supposed to go, but without the the experience and the practice, I wasn't able to put it into fruition, right? So I feel more confident in this matchup for the future, obviously, but for now. I, I I didn't do too well, okay? So that that's my regret with this matchup in particular. All right, so my next set was against Lion Escanol. Um, I'll show his team on the screen now. And another Calyrex Shadow team. Now, I at this point, I'm like, okay, this team is not the same as before, okay? I think I can work around this a little bit differently. I think I can do this, right? And once again, this is the problem with having a slow stream tail, obviously, but I, I had a game plan that was a little bit different from the first one, okay? So in this set, I said, okay, Registeel is gonna be my main, like my main mon here, okay? He's the one that's gonna be leading me to victory, okay? So this is what I did, okay? First game, he brings in Calyrex Shadow uh, and then Rillaboom, and then he has Incineroar and Shifu in the back. And then I brought my, my him on top, my Registeel, my Tinglu, and Screamtail. Now here's the thing, I know what this, what this Calyrex is supposed to do, right? It's a choice scarf one, which means I have to be able to handle it a little bit differently, but it's good because if I'm able to trap it with Screamtail, I can disable it and, you know, I can do my business here. So this is how I actually won, right? I actually won this this game because I set up my Registeel to the point where I wasn't afraid of the, of the Incineroar, of the Urshifu, or the Rillaboom. Um, granted, I was like Terra Fairy, so, so this definitely helped me out a lot because now you can't hit me with super effective moves and I was able to just destroy, I literally destroyed his entire team with Registeel um, and I was able to stop the Calyrex with Screamtail. So I basically just, I was good at that point, right? Um, he wasn't able to, to come back from that. But then I do think I got a little um, complacent, I think that's what happens because in game two, okay, he brings in Ndidi, Calyrex Shadow, uh, Urshifu and then Rillaboom in the back and then I bring in Screamtail, Tinglu, Registeel, and Ape on top. <laughs> and the difference is I didn't really do anything to set up my, my Screamtail in this battle. So I, I actually ended up terroring my, my, I ended up terroring my, my Screamtail in this battle again because now the Urshifu is a big problem. But I got to the point where I wasn't able to bring enough offense and I ended up losing because of it. I didn't set up my Registeel, like I said, which is a big hindrance for me personally. Um, and I didn't bring, like I basically brought the same mod, but in a different thing. And I think the problem with me doing that is that I'm like, okay, well they played it like this, 
So I need to switch up my leads so that it's different. And I think that might be where the problem lies, right? And it fucked me over. I will admit, it did fuck me over that I did it this way because now, right, I have to play a completely different way. Like, I think my mindset for this, this set in particular is like, okay, I am supposed to be playing every game differently. Not necessarily. Unless my opponent shows me that they were able to adapt, I'm supposed to play the same, right? And so I didn't do that for this battle. So when I lost, I was like, oh shit. Um, and then I was like, oh, it was definitely because I didn't do this properly. So then the, the third game comes in and he brings in, again, Urshifu, Calyrex Shadow, and then Ndidi and Rillaboom in the back. And I'm just like, okay, um, how do I do this? And I, I decided to go with a completely new team. I brought in Gothitelle, which I hadn't used this entire set. I don't know why the fuck I decided to bring it in this one particular matchup. Because Gothel sucks in this matchup. I don't know why the fuck I thought it was okay to bring it. And then not on top of that, I fucking teared it because I was scared of the Urshifu. Because that's the problem with Gothel. Is that if I'm going to get doubled up, okay, I need to be able to resist at least one move. And I, I, I really fucked it up. And then like I had, so I had Goth, Ting Lu, top, him on top in the back. Which I was trying to like intimidate Cycle. Which obviously doesn't fucking help. And then like... I don't even, did I not, why did I not write my last one? Was it? I'm pretty sure it was Registeel. I don't fucking know. But like, I was so disappointed in myself because this is exactly the problem with me right now is that because I'm too new at this and this is a completely different team and I don't, like when it comes to singles, you normally would never play the same way in a matchup, okay? You would never repeat your moves because your opponent already knows it. In VGC, however, because of the fact that technically speaking, you're limiting yourself to how many mons you can use in a set, in a match. You're supposed to play somewhat similarly until the opponent is able to prove to you that they're able to handle it. And I think that's where I fucked up, okay? I tried to play this game, this set in particular, like I do for singles, right? Because I'm like, oh, I'm not supposed to play the same. I'm not supposed to be doing things similar. So I have to constantly change up my team because otherwise they'll be able to adapt. If I had used the same mons the same way, as I did in game one and game two, I would have won that. Because the fact that I had to like sacrifice my stream tails like Terra this early in the match because I fucked up my leads, that's what fucked me over. I honestly think that if I, I, if I needed to play the same, I would have been able to do this way better than I did. And I'm very disappointed in myself of, of what happened here. So um, I did end up losing in spite of my Intimidate cycling because it's the only note I have here that was important. Right, um, and I ended up losing this set, but this was like at least a, a three game set, right? All the other ones have been 2 0 at this point. The one that the one I won, and all the ones I lost, I was never able to get to game three except for this one. And honestly, the only reason why it happened is because I fucked up myself over, um, and I'm quite disappointed in myself for this one in particular because this is the matchup I was. I was okay with like this is the, the matchup I was prepared for, and I, I, didn't, I didn't do it right. Okay, so I'm very upset with myself for how I did that. Okay, and then finally, my last opponent of the of the tournament, because at this point, I am sitting at a clean 4-1, uh, or 1-4, technically speaking. I won one game, lost four sets. Okay, this is the last set in the tournament, and there's no way in hell I'm moving into top cut. But I said to myself, okay, I know you didn't do well, but you can't just go home with one win. Okay, you have to at least win another one. Okay, and so when I see my opponent's team showing on screen, I see a Groudon. Now, Groudon was not a, a Pokemon I expected at all in this tournament. Like I said, my main targets for this tournament itself were Maridon, Calyrex Shadow, maybe some Calyrex Ice, and Kyogre. Right? Those are the main ones I expected to happen in this tournament. And I'm facing a fucking Groudon. Okay? Now, I do think that my team is okay versus Groudon. Okay, personally speaking, I do think it's a very good mon against the Groudon. So I felt a little confident going in, especially seeing the sets that he had on his Groudon. So here's what I ended up doing, okay? First game, he brings in Groudon, Fluttermane, uh, for a Giraffe, and Bolt. That's his squad for game one. Now, obviously, you got two Protosynthesis mons who are gonna take advantage of the Sun, right? That's what they're there for. That's why Groudon is here. Um, so I decided, okay, well, if we're going to use Protosynthesis, I'm using Protosynthesis too. So I bring in Screamtail, him on top in the front, Lugia and Gothitelle in the back. Now, the reason why I did this is because I'm trying 
to see how I can do this properly because I'm scared of the floating rings. If I remember correctly, it was choice specs because I was a little worried about how to handle the Groudon and, and all this other stuff. And I thought Screamtail was gonna be very beneficial for me, obviously. The only thing I remember about this set, right, is the fact that I was able to set up my Lugia so well that I was able to deal, and I, I was tearing ground, so I dealt with the, the, the Raging Bolt, couldn't do anything to me. Um, the Feridraph couldn't do anything to me. The Fluttermane, I think I killed Fluttermane with something else. I think I got, I think this might be one of the ones. No, I don't think I ever got a pair of But I know that like Earth Power on, on Lugia is the thing that really won me this game. Um, I might have just spammed Psychic against the Fluttermane at some point. I don't fucking remember. All I know is that I tear up my, my Lugia here, which, which is what led me to winning the game. Now, game two, I will admit, I, like I said, I tried to do a little bit different because I didn't, apparently I didn't learn from the previous set. Here's where I think I fucked up. Okay, so I brought in Goth Tail on the front with Registeel. I don't know why the fuck I decided to bring Registeel here. Like, cause like I said, I don't really have a way to stop my opponent. Registeel and Lugia both need to set up to do anything, right? So I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea to deal with, you know, my Registeel doing all the damage taking. I played this again in a very horrible way. But, but, um, it was close, and honestly, I think I would have won this set if, and only if, he didn't crit my Registeel, okay? Because at a certain point, right, I was set up my Registeel. Ogre Pond is the one that he terrored, so obviously he's going to be, you know, boosted in power and all that shit. But I was able to get some positioning here and there, but the problem became is that I'm basically at plus two defense right now. Ogre Pond doesn't have his attack stat right now because I'm pretty sure I had him on top in the back. I have here that I had Goth Tail, uh, Registeel in the front, and then Tinglu in the back. But I'm pretty sure I had him on top in this battle. Um, but I fucked it up because of the issue is that he crit my Registeel when I went for Heal Pulse. Um, and he crit me, not with fucking the fire, the fire move. No, he crit me with a Stomping Tantrum. And like, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I would have lived that. Healed up my Registeel and then been able to just, just win at that point. So I'm a little upset that that happened. So then now I have to play in game three. And like I said, the, the previous one, the previous set, I made this exact same issue, which fucked me over. And now I'm like, fuck me. Like, this is definitely not going to be good for me. And then I said, okay, I didn't play this the best. I got crit, which is definitely the reason why I lost. But I can do this. Okay. Just take a slow Sora song. Take it one breath at a time. You can do this. And so, when the next game comes in, he leads the same. He leads Fluttermane, Ogre Pond, and then has uh, Fruit Draft and Groudon in the back. Like I said, when uh, your opponent doesn't show you that you are able to handle what they bring, then you bring the same thing. Now, I did do it different here. I went him on top in the front with Registeel, and then Lugia and Tinglu in the back. And the reason why I brought Tinglu is because Tinglu was able to handle everything except for the Groudon, especially if I tear it, so, which is what I ended up doing. I don't have any more nuts in there. What the fuck? Um, I did lose, like from what I'm seeing here, I killed, I know I killed the, the Fluttermane here in the beginning, but I, or, or at least I took it down to his focus app. And I know that Ting Lu, uh, wait, no, what was it? Oh, okay, I remember. Lugia, I think is the reason why I was able to beat the Groudon, and Registeel obviously helped. Because right now I see that I lost my Ting Lu, and I definitely lost it to the Groudon. But Lugia and Registeel were the only ones left, and I'm pretty sure by that point Registeel was, you know, defensive enough to be able to live anything without any issues. Um, and Lugia, because at that point it had multi skill still, I was able to, to win and I got a victory and I was very happy about that. Now I don't remember all the videos that my wife was able to take, but I will sprinkle them in, obviously, being between uh, the matches that I can kind of guess who it was against. Um, so you'll see at least some footage of that. But overall, I went 2-4, which is a horrible record after getting second place in my first ever BGC tournament. Um, so I was, uh, I was disappointed in myself because I, I had an expectation of myself. At least I thought I could go even, like 3-3. Three, three, um, I, I didn't know how big the tournament was until I got there. But when I heard that it was six rounds of Swiss, I was like, okay, well, at least I can get 3-3. Three, three. And honestly, I should have done that. I do think that I would have been able to get that had I not fucked myself over in the, the Calyrex Shadows battles. Okay, I do think that that was a mistake. Karida, I know for a fact I wasn't going to win those because I didn't prep for that. I didn't prep for Karidon, so my team wasn't built to handle Karidon. But overall, uh, the event was mid, 
in terms of like the event space itself. Okay, like I said, the fact that we couldn't charge our shit anywhere um, was very disappointing. Um, I wasn't able to get on stream, which obviously makes me sad because I could I would have loved to. There wasn't like food there, so my wife and I were there for hours without being able to eat. Like I had to get, uh, I had to order for my wife to at least be able to eat something. I wasn't able to eat until like my the fifth round um, because there was a lady that started selling stuff outside like burgers and, and, and hot dogs and shit like that. So I was like, well, at least I get to eat something. But like, I just, I expected more from a regional. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but like I said, this, this, I, I do think I didn't do the team justice. I believe that if I had made certain changes to it, if I had really thought about everything, if I had practiced, I do think I would have done way better in this tournament. Like I said, I regret that I wasn't able to talk to Abel Tular, who's like a top BGC player because I would have loved to pick at his brain, right? Um, it was cool to see a top player in my country, right? That that I will not regret. But overall, I I I feel disappointed mainly in myself because I do think I could have done way better in this tournament had I like really stuck to to my guns and done things the way I expected. But now I will be working on future teams. Like I said, this video I'm I was hoping to have it out a, a while ago. But delays kept happening, and I, I'm really, really late to this. It's a long-ass video, so I do apologize for that. But I hope you enjoyed it. And the next VGC-centered video that you're going to get on the channel is I participated in a Pokemon Showdown. So I have replays for those, <laughs> and I can talk to you guys and my, my thought process and all that stuff. So hopefully you're looking forward to that. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed once again, I really want to thank my wife for pushing me into this, right? For giving me the motivation to even start this journey. Um, and is always there supporting me. Um, my boy, Choir Boy, for once again helping me develop my, my team, right? It, it was last minute, so we didn't have a lot to work with. So I really appreciate his help and his guidance. And as always, a huge thank you to my boys then for helping me not only get the mons, right? And then, you know, helping me with their Terra type changes and their EV training and stuff like that. Like I really, really appreciate having both of you uh, by my side, helping me with all this stuff. But for now, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have been Soros Crossing and I will see you guys in future videos, streams, shorts, and everything in between.